All right, welcome. In this video, I'm just going to go through an example of finding second partial derivatives using a function that's a little more complicated. So for example, let's say that we want to find the second order partial derivatives for the function g of x, y is equal to e to the power of 2x minus y plus x times sine of y. So this has some exponentials and a trig function going on, so we're just going to need to be a little more detail oriented when we're finding the partial derivatives to make sure we're doing things properly. So before we get too far into this example, I want to recommend that you pause and try this on your own. Reading all of these variables out loud I don't think is really that illuminating. I'm going to do it the best I can and to sort of walk through the steps, but really we're just taking lots of partial derivatives and it just involves being careful. So you might want to try it on your own first and then come back to check because I think it will help you make sense of what I'm doing. So if my task is to find the second order partial derivatives, I'm going to need to first find the first partial derivatives in order to then take another partial derivative. So let's find the partial derivative of g with respect to x and the partial derivative of g with respect to y. So for g with respect to x, I'm taking the derivative of e to the something. That's e to the something times the derivative of that something. So with respect to x, it's just times 2. Then I'm taking the derivative of x times sine of y. So here the sine of y is like a constant and x is my variable. So I'm just left with that constant sine of y. Now I can simplify this a little bit and write it as 2 e to the 2x minus y plus sine of y. And I want to just write it in a nice way since I know I'm going to need to take another derivative and I want it to be easy to look at. Okay, let's repeat this process but with respect to y. So here I have e to the something and I'm taking its derivative. So I have e to that something times the derivative of the something. Here it's now negative 1 from that negative y. Then I add the derivative of x times sine of y. Here x is the constant and sine of y is what I'm taking the derivative of. So I'm left with x times cosine of y since the derivative of sine is cosine. So I have negative e to the 2x minus y plus x times cosine of y as my derivative with respect to y. Now that I have my two first partial derivatives, I can go through the process of finding the second partial derivatives. So let's start with g with respect to x and then with respect to x again. So what I'm really doing here is taking the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative I already found, 2e to the 2x minus y plus sine of y. So first I have the derivative of 2e to the something that's going to be 2e to that same something times the derivative of the exponent, so that's times 2. Then I have the derivative of sine of y with respect to x. Sine of y is just a constant here, and so I'm adding 0. Simplifying this, I get 4e to the 2x minus y as my second partial derivative. Okay, now let's do the one where we take the derivative with respect to y twice. So really, we're taking the derivative with respect to y of the derivative we already found. So we're taking the partial derivative of negative e to the 2x minus y plus x times cosine of y. I'm just copying that from previously. So when we do this, I have negative e to the something. I'm going to multiply by the derivative of that exponent, so it's just times negative 1. Then I need to add the derivative of x times cosine of y. So here x is a constant cosine of y is what I'm taking the derivative of, and so I'm getting negative sine of y times x. Now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, so I'm getting e to the 2x minus y minus x sine of y. Now we just have the mixed partial derivatives left, so let's first do the derivative with respect to y of the partial derivative with respect to x, so we're taking the partial derivative with respect to y of 2e to the 2x minus y plus sine of y. So I do 2e to the something times the derivative of that something, the exponent. So I have 2e to the 2x minus y times negative 1. And then I have the derivative of sine of y with respect to y. So that's just cosine of y. Putting this together, 
I'm getting negative 2e to the 2x minus y plus cosine of y. Okay, so we want to actually find the other partial derivative, the mixed one. So the derivative with respect to y, then with respect to x. But we know from Clairaut's theorem that these should be equivalent. So I've technically already found the answer here. But I like to go through it again just to sort of make sure I didn't make a mistake somewhere along the way. And it's kind of nice to get the same answer and feel good that like you did all the steps right. So let's do the derivative with respect to y, then x. So I'm taking the partial derivative with respect to x to the thing I already found, which is negative e to the 2x minus y plus x cosine of y. So the derivative of negative e to the something is negative e to the something times 2. That's the derivative of the exponent. And now I add it to the derivative of x cosine of y. Here, x is the thing we're taking the derivative of, and cosine of y is just a constant, so I'm just left with cosine of y. Now I can rewrite this as negative 2e to the 2x minus y plus cosine of y, and I should be feeling really good because now both of my mixed partial derivatives got me to the same place. Okay, so that's that example. We started with a function and we found all four of the second order partial derivatives. Nothing too complicated, just being really careful, determining which is a constant and which is a variable, and taking my partial derivatives correctly. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.